Welcome back again, guys, and I appreciate you all for coming. So if I say guys and you're an elderly person, you feel like, who is this guy calling guys? Please, oh, okay, it's the YouTube language, okay? So I'm sorry. <laughs> so elders in the building and uh, ladies and gentlemen, all, you are all welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you have been following the story, this video is going to be very easy for you to understand but if you have not been following the story then you may struggle a little bit to understand this video so but i have a couple of videos on my channel where you may see Mercy johnson okoji on the thumbnail and even her name on my title so these are the videos i'm talking about i mean this is the story i'm talking about so this is the update from me since the last time i visited mama at the Ashanti region of Ghana. Uh, I visited her and returned, and you have not heard anything from me, negative or positive, apart from the live stream that I did the other time, addressing, um, explaining my own side of the story of what really happened, because I became... They start accusing me of uh, start accusing me of hijacking the story. So I felt necessary to do the live stream that I did explaining my own side of the story. So I've not really brought anything to you guys to say, okay, this is what is going on and this is what we are holding on to. So this is why I'm doing this. And I've been getting lots of comments, especially from mothers. Hey, my gender. When I don't get patient, sha. My gender. We hold no patience. I know. So, but men have been keeping calm and waiting because they know, say, last, last, when it happened, everybody go here. If the, the sister come, we go know. When the DNA test is done, the result. But anyways, that the result comes, uh, everybody will be notified. But my gender don't have patience. And they want to hear, Lily, what's been going on? You stop talking about it. Why? I have not stopped Um being interested in the story or doing something about it or or hoping for something to be done about it the only thing i've stopped doing is stop talking about the story because it feels like what's the point like it doesn't make sense me coming on here every day to talk about something that we feel we may have fine answers may have found answers okay uh because as it stands now until the dna test is done and the result proven either positive or negative we don't know yet to get it so uh it doesn't make sense for me to come on here every day and be hitting on that <sighs> so that's why you've not heard anything from me and um couple with the fact that my life have been under threats yes i have been receiving threat to life both the video i mean um whatsapp messages and our phone calls and of course the comment section here on youtube I don't know if the same people have so many uh, accounts that they used to do this or maybe it's their fans sympathizers that are coming after me threatening my life so um, since i went to visit mama uh, in a village i didn't have any reason to have gone there except for the fact that my dear sister mercy had sent me to find out some things for her which i have and then i've given that information to her because that trip was just to get the information for her uh for her personal consumption you get it so i didn't see the need to come back uh the video that i or videos that i was supposed to have brought back here by the time i get back the people that own the story already posted all of my videos about two or so yeah two of my videos that i would have posted here they already emptied it on their own channel and when i asked them to bring it down they refused did i ever say welcome to my channel if i had not i can't remember if i've said so if i haven't said so please welcome and thank you for tuning in but if you're new here hi welcome my name is lillian and please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification when you subscribe okay that is the best way to do it so that anytime i upload a new video youtube will notify you don't forget to put it on the one that says all okay with that all you can get update from youtube anytime i'm on here all right with that being said please don't forget to like this video 
I went on that trip not to go and investigate the story. No, I only went there to deliver the message I was asked to go deliver on my own. Say, oh, not really, oh, I don't have any reason to have gone there because it's not like I didn't believe the story. I believed them from the beginning. So I didn't go there to go and investigate or oh, are they lying are they making up stories to for the traffic or something that was never my intention heaven bears me weakness so my going there was strictly to get information to give to the person that i've asked for it to give to the person that we are all hoping could be the person all right and also pass information to them that was why i went so when my videos got uploaded i felt like they should do that I called them out to, I called, I called them to take it down via phone call, but they said I was rude. And then a lot happened since after then, you know, a lot of, I've been receiving death threats, you know, I blocked them on WhatsApp. Mm, a lot has happened. And um, to my subscribers, my viewers who have been fighting for me, who have been defending me, who believe they know me uh, a lot. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. I appreciate all of the support you've given to me, especially when people, total strangers, just come into your life and just attack it because they feel like maybe, maybe they misunderstand me or something. So thank you for standing by me. But this death threatening thing should stop, okay? I'm a single mother. If you kill me, my children are going to suffer. They don't have, one of my child is actually living with disability. Do you get it? She can't walk on her own. She needs me. 24 7 if you kill me you have just destroyed her life so yeah those of you threatening you're gonna do this to me you're gonna do this to me you're gonna do that you're gonna do this please calm down okay i i and these people are not fighting so there's no point if you are a sympathizer or you are one of them please stop these threats i have deleted i've been deleting comments on my videos you are greedy you just sucked these people out of the story you did this your hatred for me won't change a thing. Don't kill me before my time in case you're planning to do it. But I believe that God of truth will not allow you to have your way in my life. Because I told them, whatever you plan for me, you will get it. Whatever you wish me, you will get it. As long as I've not done, as long as I've not done anything wrong, you are the one oppressing me. You have my videos, my intellectual property with you on your channel. You're feasting on it, and then yet you're coming. What? What is my offense? The offense is okay. I actually talked about it. They said I, sh I shouldn't have talked about the story. Myself, I didn't know it was going to resort to that because I, it's not like if I knew. I wouldn't have talked about it. I would have. But I didn't know that the story was going to be embraced by matured minds. So I was supposed to travel to um, Volta region of Ghana because that's one place I've been planning to go. But I didn't have enough money on me. And I've been home doing content from home, you know, filming from my garden doing other things when i got to a channel that have the english version of that story because i got a proper understanding i decided to talk about it that is a messy johnson story in case you have not been following so when i decided to talk about it um i didn't know it was going to be you know it, it was going to interest people and then it was going to lead us to the right direction so I don't know all this pain. At least, I bet if I've done that video and I didn't get any view, all these hard feelings wouldn't have been there. So please calm down. You know YouTube, for those threatening my life, YouTube, you don't make a lot of money from YouTube. You know that. It's sincere. For me, the videos I used to do before now, I travel around Ghana, I explore. I love it, you know. It has been a beautiful life here. I mean, traveling within Ghana, you know. So I have been like some of my videos that i used to do then have if you check their revenues and uh, check the revenues of this recent video you see that those ones even have higher revenue okay you know how youtube works so you may have seen tons of views on my channel i've not made money okay so relax yourself don't let envy and jealousy get the best of you for nothing all right so please stop threatening my life and 
I know a lot of people have advised me to go to the police and some are saying the reason I can't go to the police is because I don't have paper. My stay in Ghana has not expired, okay? I don't have resident permits in Ghana, yeah? But I have my ECOWAS passport and the numbers of months I'm supposed to be in Ghana. You know, I do travel every three, three months. Do you think I'm not? I'm an idiot. I know what I'm doing, okay? So the numbers of days or months I'm supposed to stay in Ghana has not expired. So if I had wanted to arrest them for intellectual content, I mean, for content thief, I could do it. But I don't want to do it because for me, I usually leave my case to God so that he would defend me. It's not like if I call the police, God will not defend me. He will defend me. But I just feel like, I, because I've told them, delete my content from your channel. Stop leaving it there. As long as it's there, you will know peace. They are taking it for, they don't, they feel like there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Uh, because people advise them to post it. Some people said, I don't have resident permit, so I can't go to the police. I can go to the police. I'm human and I have my stay. Um, the numbers of day I'm supposed to be in Ghana has not expired. So you see, I can arrest them, but I won't. So the reason I've not brought any update yet is because there's no update yet. Mercy needs time to arrange herself before she can travel down to Africa for the DNA test. And for me, this is what I have planned to do. If by the time Sister Mercy comes to Africa for a DNA test and then the result, I want it positive and I believe it's going to be positive. We are all hopeful it will be positive. Ah, it will be positive. Inshallah. Ah, ni uruko chinsu. Oh, positive. Oh, oh, my positive for me. Straight up in Jesus' name. But if the result end up scientifically negative, um, I hope that you guys will be here so that we can raise funds for mama. We'll, go, we'll create a GoFundMe for mama so that, not because she needs the money. Of course, nobody, everybody needs money. But maybe with that, we could use it to help her see how she can go to Liberia or Nigeria in search of her kids. You know, if she has money, we can... With that go for me, you all know. It's not something I can do. Me, I don't have money. Please, I'm a single mother. Mm? So... With the GoFundMe, we can help Mama see she can find her kids. I won't be the one to do it, okay? For me, I'm not going to travel again in search of anyone I beg in this regards, all right? So, but maybe someone from, she will give us people or, you know, she's of age. We wouldn't be stressing her, except, of course, if it's flight ticket and she's ready to fly. By then, we are going to all come together and create a GoFundMe for Mama that is me, oh, but it's not to insult anybody. I'm just saying that is me. That is my thought. So these are my updates. I don't have anything new to bring about the story. Apart from the fact that they are threatening my life and I've been begging. Don't kill me. I'm a single mother of two kids. My my kids do not have anybody. Uh, I would say three kids because my niece is 100%. I'm responsible for her. So imagine killing me. You have destroyed their future. So please don't kill me. Don't hurt me. I've not done anything bad to the people you, that brought the story. Okay. So if they have said so to gain your sympathy, just to make you hate me, it's fine. But let it just be that hatred. Okay. But don't think of harming me because I get back, you know, I get God. I get God. All right. So. There is no big update for now in this regard, okay? So whatever Sister Mercy, uh, when she can come, she will come. We will go for the test, all right? Um, but for now, that's it, okay? So I've not forgotten Mama. I'm not angry with Mama. I heard that she said something in their video. A lot of people were um, saying she's an ingrate. No. Uh, I'm not I'm not seeing it that way. I feel like she's a mom and just being anxious and all that. Coupled with the fact that these guys may be pushing her. So for them, I've told them they can continue creating their content based on Mercy Johnson. They said, I've used the story to grow. How? Yes, everybody on head, except you are not well. That's when you do something um, that is not beneficial to your life or is not making positive impacts. If I make if i made those videos and people like it it's not a crime it's not something you should hate me for so please guys put yourselves together and leave me alone i mean i'm talking to these people threatening me okay leave me alone don't threaten me and for those that are waiting for results uh don't worry we are on it okay 
when it's time everybody will be notified all right so for now that is that um thank you for watching this video <sighs> i'll see you in my next one ciao